What up, Wolves? Blade Master here, back with some more Total War Room to Online Action. We're taking a break from the tournament stuff, and I'm just going to bring you a quick battle that I fought against uh, Spora from the IWT clan. And I've taken Armenia in this matchup, and he's taken Lusitani. So Armenia versus Lusitani in the map of Bactra. So geography is all over the place in this matchup. Um, but let's see what uh, what army I've taken. Uh, I've taken three Eastern Archers. I've taken five Axemen behind them. Not the Cartley Axemen, mind you. A total of three Eastern Spearmen, uh, two on my left flank, one on my right flank. And uh, obviously with Armenia, the uh, main killing power in my force comes from my Cataphracts. I've brought three Eastern Cataphracts and two Royal Cataphracts. And I've also brought two Horse Archers, one on either flank, and I'm going to circle around with them. Baksha is kind of a nah, cool map, but it's just too unbalanced for it to be used in tournaments. It, I mean, I can see why the uh, CA decided to use them, uh, use it as a CA, uh, as a preset map for quick battles because it's fun. It's got like this, you know, this uh, uh, edge over here or this this little center here where there's no uh, wood protection or hill protection where both the armies would meet ideally. But the one side just has too much of a hill advantage to even move, and the other side, while they do have some hill advantage and some forest protection, this one has just the the, the slope of that hill is just so much better. Um, so again, I just don't think there's a good map. It's a, it's a fun map and uh, I wouldn't really p pick it for a quick battle, but it would definitely not be used for uh, for tournament play. Anyways, with Lusitani, my opponent has brought a total of four Balearic Slingers and he's kept three of them up front. Uh, there's one more Balearic Slinger somewhere around here. Yeah, over here. He's also brought a couple of Iberian skirmishers. One of them moved up in front and just got slaughtered by my Eastern Archers. And he's going to bring uh, one of his loose, two Lusitani spearmen, which he brought in his army, to support this eastern cataphract that I very foolishly engaged with his Iberian skirmishers while they were routing. Iberian skirmishers are a good pick. He should have brought more of them, and he should have brought fewer slingers. Even though Valeric slingers have got very good armor penetration damage, Iberian skirmishers would have done a much better job at killing off my cataphracts. My horse archers, meanwhile, are getting into the rear of his army, and I'm going to try and circle around and catch his general. Uh, his Lusitani spearmen have done a huge number on my eastern cataphracts, but also his... His uh, Iberian swordsmen, he's brought five of these Iberian swordsmen up in this big line there. They just slaughtered my eastern cataphracts while they were trying to pull away. But now that the, the cataphracts have pulled away, they're going to lower his Lusitani spearmen to uh, coming more close into my line. And then I'm going to send one of my hidden uh, axemen to go ahead and attack them. My other horse archer has been forced out of the uh, face of the battle by these Iberian cavalry. He's brought one Iberian cavalry and one Scutari cavalry. And he's brought a total of two Lustani nobles and three uh, veteran shield warriors. So he's brought, he's gone very infantry, melee infantry heavy. Not necessarily a good idea. I would probably bring a couple more of these Lustani spearmen. Although these units are very susceptible to uh, the charge. And against a cataphract charge, they will definitely lose quite a lot of men. They're much more of an attacking uh, type of spear unit. And you want much more of a defensive type of spear, spear unit when dealing with cataphracts. When you're dealing with other melee cavalry, like strong melee cavalry, these loose tiny spearmen would absolutely do wonders for you. But now they're going to get charged at by my axemen, and I'm going to circle around with this royal cataphract over here. And, uh, and in the meanwhile, I'm just going to charge straight ahead with the rest of my troops. And here, my royal cataphract gen is going to attack his Skutari cavalry. So we all know how exactly how well that's going to go. My royal cataphract are just going to rip them apart. And uh, the same situation is going to go over here. I'm going to get a pretty sweet um, hammer and anvil charge, although it is going to be an uphill charge with these royal cataphracts, onto the backs of those uh, Lusitani spearmen. It is an uphill charge as well. Yeah, so, but it, it, at the end of the day, against those very lightly armored Lusitani spearmen, it's just going to be far too much for them to handle. You can see they've, they've gotten destroyed. Now, my axemen are going to move up in front. The reason I, I moved up in front is because one, some of my archers all, were already getting destroyed. I only have a couple of archers remaining. And, um, you know, he's got huge, a huge missile superiority, so he has no incentive to move down. So I have to go ahead and take the engagement to him. I've ganged up on this eastern, uh, or this Scutari cavalry here, and uh, they're going to drop very quickly. My Royal Cataphract Gen hasn't taken a single casualty yet. And I also have one more eastern cataphract on the far side. He's bringing one of his Iberian skirmishes to try and attack my cataphracts. Again, Iberian skirmishes with that 32 uh, missile damage will be very deadly to those heavily armored cataphracts. But they have moved a bit too close. They could have loosed maybe a couple of volleys. And that could have been, uh, you know, qu quite good in terms of whittling down some of these cataphracts. But they are too close and uh, they're going to get destroyed. My horse archers were chased off by his Iberian cavalry and died. The other horse archer got some, uh, you know, took some uh, damage from his Iberian uh, swordsmen. And uh, they weren't, they haven't really played much of a role. 
my axemen uh, have uh, are engaging with his Iberian swordsmen, but I'm going to come in with uh, royal cataphracts uh, to charge in on the rear of these uh, veteran shield warriors and Iberian swordsmen. And that's just going to be so deadly. Let's take a look at the stats. Wow, <laughs> yeah, it's 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 going up. It's increasing so much. But um, what I'm doing here, or what I've tried to do, is uh, I'm going to put some of my units on fi flaming shot. I think I put one of my units on flaming shot. Yeah, there we go. The unit which has 16 missile damage obviously has flaming shot on. And I wanted to time that in perfectly with the rear charge from my um, Royal Cataphract. So, you know, even these highly armored or highly uh, high morale units like these veteran shield warriors, they will succumb to a fear penalty like that because these are going to be some really devastating charges from some of the best or the best uh, shock cab units in the game. And pair that up with some more, uh, more uh, you know, morale penalties from those flaming shot and it could be quite a nice, uh, you know, one-two punch. Um, and you can see, you know, those Iberian swordsmen got destroyed. He's got, uh, he had five veteran shield warriors. He's left with uh, only a couple of them, and one of them is already wavering with only with 86 men left. His Lustein Noble has done pretty well, 49 kills on them, but they just haven't really affected the game too much. His Balearic Slingers have done okay, 23 kills, 30, 70. So, uh, you know, the, the so many kills is quite good for Slingers. I charged in with my general and uh, attacked his Lustani Noble, but they just got a bit bogged down by these Lustani Spearmen here. Only 26 units left with them because I charged them earlier on. And uh, But you know, they've already got a single experience chevron, about to get a double experience chevron, just because they've got that high melee attack and weapon damage along with cavalry counter tactics. And a 20, 20 base uh, uh, bonus versus large actually makes them very, very good attacking spear units in terms of dealing with cavalry. But again, just not the best units to take on shock cavalry and not the best units to take on um, Eastern Cataphracts, but if he brought a mixture of Scutari Spearmen and Lustani Spearmen, it would have been a much bigger, uh, a much better army to take on Armenia. My Royal Cataphracts have got 235 kills, have lost only 25 uh, units, little more than half strength. My Eastern Cataphracts have got 168 kills, they're just chasing off some of these Balearic Slingers. His Iberian Cavalry actually did a pretty decent job in this match, uh, chased off my Horse Archers, which could have been quite a pain in the ass for a uh, lowly armored faction like Lustani. But, uh, you know, he managed to kill them off very early on in the game. Uh, my Axemen over here are getting uh, quite a few kills. I'm going to charge, I'm just going to keep charging in, you know, uh, charging in and pulling out with uh, my Eastern Cataphracts. And, uh, you know, each time they do that, especially since the angle really plays into my favor at this point, because there's, I'm just going to utilize this sweet downhill slope uh, to get, to maximize the power of my charge. And I think by this point, uh, my uh, Trample, the Trample ability would have... Um, been able to I would have been able to activate it again I'd say because it's it's been quite a while since uh, as this battle is played out um, he's got only some Balearic Slingers left this big blob here is going to be pretty uh, hard for me to deal with uh, unless I can get some more charges while they're being bogged down by my Axemen but you can see these Axemen are starting to drop now they're wavering because of course these are some some of the best melee infantry units in the game but again another downhill charge from Eastern Cataphracts and as I said my Trample uh, was able uh, was reactivated and uh, let's take <laughs> wow the, the kill count is just bouncing up on these uh, cataphracts because even though these are loose tiny nobles and they have very good health against a charge from cataphracts they just can't really do anything and i charged in with these uh, eastern cataphracts so that i could rear charge with this eastern cataphract unit and just uh, try and do like a pincer movement see these veteran shield warriors the uh, last few veteran shield warriors that he had left are wavering um but yeah, I think at this point it kind of looks like it, it would go in my favor. Uh, he's got one more Balearic Slinger here that's, uh, that I'm chasing off with my Royal Cataphract unit. Uh, still definitely very close because this Eastern Cataphract is uh, starting to waver. I've only got a couple of uh, Cataphracts left. One Eastern Cataphract that has 46 units left that's going up for an incredibly uphill charge. Let's see how many, how many uh, kills that would get. Yeah, hardly any. 255 from 250. Yeah, just about 10 kills. But, uh, you know, as long as I can uh, pin them down and get that morale penalty going, uh, that should be more than enough for me to win this game. You can see that Veteran Shield Warrior decided to route. This Veteran Shield Warrior has got a double experience chevron, 6-6 six, six kills, all on cataphracts, I can assure you. And, um, yeah, but even they've routed, uh, he, uh, he's got one more Veteran Shield Warrior, which has again got another uh, experience chevron. Amazing. And uh, his loose time Noble basically is the only threat that I have to deal with. Um, they've got 53 or 48 units left. But uh, I've got one Eastern Cataphract at 42 units left, which is just going to be too much for them to handle, I would say. He's put Headhunt a bit too late in this, uh, in this game. This is 
a pretty crucial uh, late game mistake that my opponent made. If he had uh, saved it for uh, when my ch uh, cataphracts charged, that would have been too much for my cataphracts maybe. Or at least would have given, a, given him a more fighting chance in this game. But I'm going to come in with a rear charge uh, with my royal cataphracts put on trample. And uh, that should be a pretty decisive final charge. Yeah, 320, 316 to 325, 330, there we go. Yeah, that's the number of kills that I want to see. Almost a triple experience. There we go. Triple experience Chevron on those Royal Cataphracts. And his Lucidani Nobles are just too depleted for them to really uh, make a difference in this game. Very well played to uh, IWT Spora. But I think the game goes to me at this point. I chased off his Balearic Slingers with one of my Eastern Arches so that they couldn't fire their uh, slingshots on my Cataphracts. And that's going to be it. Costly victory. Very fun game. And let's take a look at the stats. My Cataphracts did brilliantly and I was counting on them to do very well. Of course, against Lusitani, you can't, if, you, if you can't let your, or if your Cataphracts don't do well against Lusitani, then you're not playing with Cataphracts, right? Uh, my Eastern Cataphracts got triple experience chevrons, my Royal Cataphracts got 345 kills, and each one of my Cataphract, uh, cataphract units at least got uh, an experience chevron. So, you know, I, they did just about as well as I expected them to. My Axemen uh, as well did just about as well as I expected them to. They got slaughtered by the vastly superior... Um, veteran shield warriors and Iberian swordsmen and Lustani nobles that the Lustani have. And these axes really, they I just don't like axemen and I don't like cartly axemen. Their low melee attack is just terrible. And they can be very good units to rear charge, but as a front line, they just, I don't think they have enough melee attack to uh, really justify bringing them. And on top of that, these armor penetration, uh, uh, you know, the axes, the, the ones which have, I think these ones have like 26 weapon damage. They just aren't good enough or they, they aren't effective enough against uh, a, a faction that's already lowly armored like these, uh, like Lusitani. Anyways, guys, that's the end of this battle. Hope you enjoyed it and stay tuned for more. Peace.